Okay, I've got this piece of paper that was with my stuff at the side of me and I thought I'd make something with this today. I think what I'm going to do, because I haven't done any Christmas en envelopes this year, even though I've done loads previously, um, but I thought I would make like a very large envelope that may hold smaller envelopes, if you know what I mean, out of this. And it's, it's nice, it's packaging, but it's been here and I've gessoed, you know, and I've had a bit of gesso left over, I've just gessoed it and, and all that, so all, that's all I've done. So I'm going to most probably, yeah, I don't know, have it about that wide. I'll tell you what I'm going to do first, is just trim a nice straight line, okay, because I'm, I'm going to have um, the envelope so that it has, you know, um, what do you call them, a flap inside the envelope because it gives more room yeah so i'm gonna do that so i'll just straighten off that edge i'll cut that edge straight and then i'll do it about that size actually which is going to be i reckon oh, i would say about six yeah <laughs> look at that six inches so i'm gonna do six by it's gonna be tall about eight and three quarters okay this is going to be the front part of the envelope on the back i shall put a, a panel for the flap as well so a little bit i have to extend it a bit but that's okay because we can cover the whole back yeah that's what i'm going to do and i'll put the flaps on this side right okay i'll just go and cut that down and then i'll come back to you all right so i cut it down I cut it seven across that way, okay, and whatever it was here, okay, I wasn't sure, but all I'd done then was scored in half an inch down on the other side, down, okay, and the bottom, okay, and then there's a little square that uh, that's here, you just, you just cut that off, okay, so it then looks like this, and then I mitre that bit as well at the top, okay. Then I cut another piece that was a uh, six inches width because that should be six in inches now. Okay, and that go on there. I did cut off half an inch off the top, but sometimes you need to trim, so that's going to go there. But I don't, I don't want that on there until I've done the extension at the top. So we know it's six inches across our pocket or our envelope, whatever and we need to do the top so that's why i got six inches does that, does that fit that's a little bit too big so okay so i cut it the same width okay by four inches all right so this is now going to be our flap yeah i mean if you've got wider paper then that's fine but i'm just working with what i've got okay i want the flap most probably uh three inches i want quite a nice flap so i'm gonna do it oh let's have a look that's two inches that's quite a nice flap isn't it? two and a half and then that'll be tucked underneath i'm gonna do it two and a half i quite fancy i really don't like using those okay i always go off i don't know why but I don't press too hard with these. Okay. So uh, I've done that two, two and a half of the night. Okay. And that's going to be the flap that way. Okay. And that's going to be stuck down in there, which you're not going to see that. Okay. So let's do that first. And we can shape the top of the pocket. I might be able to find a envelope top somewhere. I can um, use as a guide. I'll fold it over when I do this so I can see the top. Moving a bit there. Bit of 
a lumpy knit, not lumpy, but it's um, puckering a little bit there. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit more glue there. There we go. And that's our flap. Just make sure it doesn't interfere with that. No. And oh, a little bit there, maybe. Yeah. So just gonna take a little bit of that off. Our measurements weren't exact there. There we go. And that is going to be the inside of the envelope. Right, let's see if we can find something. But okay, I've got a brown envelope here, so that'll be quite nice. So I shall just copy that top because I quite like that. So I'll just draw around that edge. You only need to draw um, round one, really. I'm just going to come in a little bit more. Because okay. I can do that. Okay. And then cut. Okay, and that's going to be our top. Okay, all right. That's a, it is. This is a little bit big. But I'm just going to go down there, but that's okay because I'm going to shape. I want to shape the top as well. Okay, this inside, so I'm not worried about that. So I want it. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Just sort of like I'm going to get the middle, which is here. Yeah, I'm going to come down to about there. Yeah, and then go. I'm just going to come down a bit there. Yeah, there's my middle of it. Sort of like that. And now I'll check the size, yeah? That gives me just a bit of nice shape at the top there. Okay, come down a little bit, yeah? Okay, because that's sort of all over the place. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> six, only six, yeah. I just wondered how long we've got. Right. Let's go six. And actually, I'm just going to take a slither off. line that in there. I just think it just gives it more stability. Right, are we putting um see if I if I put the little closure, I can never remember the name of them, then I need to do that before I, I cover the inside of the envelope, don't I? So I need to know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. It's easier to do this before you actually do the envelope. That's there. We don't know what we're doing here yet. Um, that would be most probably quite colourful. And then, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort out what I'm using. Okay. Right. Because I might... Put something like this on. 
on there. Yeah, I'm going to do that now, okay, so I can get the closure done because it's quite important there's a closure on this. I really like that bit there. So, I don't want to overhang a little bit. So, okay. Yep. I don't want to cut it all down, so if I do that to about there, I think we're all right. Okay. Perfect. Sorry, it might look a bit sort of, <laughs> I'm all over the place at the moment. What it is, I want to get the top of the envelope done so I can do my closure first if I want to hide the brad that holds clo closure together. the line there. That's going on there with some lace. Yeah, I was a little bit short, wasn't I? But I'm having lace anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's hailstorm today, not very nice. Okay, I've got a bit that I wanted. Right, so this is um, the lace first. Okay, and then this, I always make sure that this bit is inked up, okay? Actually, put this back. I'm just shaping this a little bit yeah, before I cut that. Okay, and that's going to be the top. So I thought I was going to make a few little bits and pieces to go in this envelope. It's a memento of Christmas, I suppose, of what I've made. Oops. So I'm waiting out. Sorry, I've been just in a few things that I'm doing for Christmas. So I've um, that's drying. I thought, oh, I'll do something now with the new, you know, the new freebie. So that's great. Right. So what I'm going to do here, this is what I'm going to stitch. Yep, around here. All right, and then we'll do the envelope thing. All right, and I think I'll just have one, and then what it can be is it can be a long string and it go all the way round and then tie at the top again, which can look nice and can hold things in quite nicely. So I shall go and st stitch around my envelope, and I'll be back. Okay, we've done that. Of course, I had to change the bobbin, and oh, never mind. It's all done now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the, you know thing <laughs> policy envelope closure thing there is a name for it but i honestly it i forget right um i've shown this before how i do them i tend to just i find it easier doing that little hole first and then this okay and as you can see i sort of marked out my circle and i can sort of 
I'll do that. Okay, and I don't, sometimes I don't do them all. And then these, then the next one, because I do um, quite a few at the same time, if you know what I mean. So I don't bother about doing a hole in the bottom one because I can poke that through. It just gives me a guide. <clears throat> this is quite a thick card too. It's going through quite nicely, that punch. Let's have it as well. Do another one. Okay. There's some kind of packaging. Okay. Right, and I'll do three layers. Okay. So I'll do one without a hole. All right. Um, and some music paper. So I'll do the music paper first and then I can poke through the hole. Like that. And if you make journals, you will have my next bit. <laughs> Right. So now we know where the hole is there. Usually got to make it a bit bigger anyway. To get the brads through. It just depends what size brad you're doing. Okay. And then that gives us enough thickness to get something underneath um you could sew a button on there that can look quite nice for this sort of thing so i'll put them in my little pot okay squish that down and ink it up that's quite nice if they're heat embossed as well No. <clears throat> all right let's have a look so that's my little center there so i'm coming back there i think Okay, now we can cover the inside of the envelope. There we go. I mean, you can do these lower, but because I'm going to tie it there, and I thought if we tie it and then put a bow there, that'll look quite nice. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> but I usually do them a tiny bit lower, so. Right, put them away. <clears throat> Isn't that the right width it was, wasn't it? Yep. So I'm gonna I usually put a bit of tape over there and just uh, keep that in place with glue. Which the stickiness has gone off of that. This tape is actually quite sticky, but that bit wasn't. Cut the right size, I think. So I can um
And turn that the other way and then just and cut that a little bit so it'll sink that looks quite nice and just make sure that's nice and flat okay and around there let's give it a bit of a squeeze okay 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 all right now we'll work on front A burnish. Okay, the front. Here we are. And that is going to go there. Okay. Right. And the first thing I'm going to do is a bit of washi tape on the inside of here. Just to strengthen that up a bit. Far too much glue. Usually one usually use one that I'm you know not fond of. Okay, so on with this one. I think I'm going to use a plainish one and then um, decorate it, okay? So quite fancy like that. And then I'll decorate it with a bit of the red on the top of this. Yeah, do something like that with it rather than just cover it. So are we all right? Yeah, we're fine. And then I'll also stitch around this and any stitching one you want to do, you, if if you've done it like this, you can actually stitch things onto it before you um, glue it down. But once it's glued down, you can't stitch. And I'm using red thread, isn't that brave? <laughs> so, oh, I'm always using black or white. But I have been using a bit of blue. And I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to use a bit of red. Okay. Let's have a look. And then we'll decide on what we want. It's going to go there. So something here red would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, it'd be nice to actually cut that out of the coloured one. But I think oh, I've used it, have I? Oh, hold on. Here we go. Oh, it's a shame about that. But I've got that. So...
okay that and then we could definitely do with i bet you haven't got another one there that's too short that in red would be nice quite like this b too might raise that up Raise that up, put that there, yep. and then that strip in red, definitely, which is here, isn't it? Which is that one. Okay, yep, right. Right, so, so I've got that. and I've stuck that on a piece of card so we can um, just wait for it to dry cut it out and then emboss it which will make that look like a bit of a centre point or focal point I say not a centre point raise that up a little bit more actually so this is going to be stuck down there and I have it inked around the edges all right and then this one's going to go there. So again, makes what you're doing even look different again, doesn't it? By doing this. Keep all your little bits and make some tags out of them. So I wouldn't keep that. <laughs> it's a little bit excessive, I think. <laughs> These little bits. Okay. I don't think I need any stitching on that or anything. I really like the way it looks. Yeah. And I'll just put some 3D pads perhaps on there a little bit or and I'll tell you what I'll do I'll do another um, layer of card that will work just wanted it lifted up a little bit more oh, I don't know where I'm going right over there there we are The health stones. Don't know whether you can hear it or not, but it seems really loud when I'm in here. But I'm not sure whether it picks up on the video or not until I edit, and then I'll be going, just ignore me <laughs> talking about the health stones. <laughs> And you can see that's still slightly a bit pity, yeah? So that's when you need to do it again. You usually do this about three times. And if it goes cold before you, which it has there, okay, it's already gone cold because of me showing you it. Just put some more ink on, yeah. It's got to be really hot when you put it in powder so I'm 
And you just hit, oh, you can heat it up again. Look. Okay. And make sure this is nice and hot as well. Yeah, that's not too bad, but I'm going to do it again. Sorry, I couldn't show you. I saw a bit slow there. <laughs> Talking. Here we go. And I missed it. Should be great. It should be like glass this time. And the bit that you've been holding on to, if you just put it down and then just go over it, yeah? And that will get rid of any marks. Okay. But sometimes the pitted look, it, it can look really nice, so I don't mind. Especially on uh, bugs. Oh my gosh, it just, they look real. So... This is um, by Seth, Ap Ap Seth Apta. It's textured something, but it's called Vintage Beeswax. I'll put the link below anyway on that because I do tend to use that all the time, or the any or any of the ones by Tim Holtz as well. You know, I really like them as well because you can see the colour underneath. I really enjoy those using those embossing powders. And that's going to go there. Actually, what I'll do, I'm going to stitch around there first, just so I don't knock anything while it's drying, that's all. Okay. Okay, that's all ready. And I did stitch around there and then around here as well. Okay, and that's going to go about there. I will check... What it looks like. Oh, I was just going to say that you might see a bit of difference in the colour. This is my laser. This is with my inkjet, but only on not high resolution, just standard. Okay, I just I do test print it on standard on my inkjet, and then I always print it out on my laser. So, and that's a difference in colour. Okay, but it's very near if you have it on high on the inkjet. All right, but I don't mind. It's fine. Okay, that's going to go there. Okay, and while this is drying, I'll decorate the back. So I've got bits hanging from my <laughs> glue. Let's check exactly where I want that. So it's going to go there. Might need to come over a little bit. Bit more actually. I'm thinking of the string coming down here. So. Make sure that's square. Okay, so that can be drying. And then we'll decorate the back. Alright. What should we do on the back? I think I'm going to go around the exactly same with the sort of that, the, that colour, I think. And I think I'll do it that way. Okay. I'll leave a little bit of a border considering it's not quite big enough. Lengthwise or height wise, right? We can all do that.
This is what my printer prints out every day. So. I must set it up for the internet, actually, because um, I can do it now. I, before, it wouldn't um, do it because it wasn't strong enough, but I've got one of those um, booster things that are set up for business internet, and it guarantees it for me. Uh, that's only because, you know, I've got the the business one in the salon so they let me have it in the studio as well <laughs> okay now we can do this and like i've said before always the sides in and then that so that you don't get caught because if you do it that way and that on the top sometimes when you put things in here you catch All right. or any things like this can be done with absolutely anything you know, it doesn't have to be this brown paper or it's, you know, it can be literally anything you want. And sometimes what's quite nice if you've got something like this and you've got a belly band across and you tuck things in like envelopes or you know anything that's that that could look quite nice so i might do that okay so i've got some baker's twine all right and that's that's done there so what i would do i think it's about three three and a half maybe times one two three maybe four but you, you might not need all that okay so i'm not gonna tie any knot or anything just need enough to tie bow with a, a length so and then you can go around there there wouldn't tie a knot oops around like that and just let it dangle yep uh, I've got too much here so There we go. Okay, and thinking about it, no belly band, but that would hold things in there anyway. Yeah, because you've got to remember this. This is going to, you know, fill up with different things. So that's the envelope. And just going to make some bits and pieces now to go in with it, with the same sort of theme. Yeah, and um, we'll see how we um, see what we can get in there. Yeah, I like that. Just got to remember which way you go, haven't you? <laughs> but at least it's not attached at all, so it's okay. I just started playing today in between my other things drying, my Christmas presents, so. Okay, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.